political assault. Uh, there have been a tremendous amount of pressures. And of course, you know, as I mentioned before, we live in, you know, I live in the state of Sodom and these people do not believe they're, they're Sodom, but they most assuredly are. I mean, they just passed a law recently, I think in the last couple of days, so they're getting preparing to pass it, that is going to require homeschools and churches to teach the LGBT agenda in daycare and elementary school. And if they don't, these churches will be considered to be discriminatory and will fall under criminal statutes for their abuse. And of course, all of the Slavic community, you know, the Ukrainian, Russian, Belarusian, Moldovan, et cetera, community, they all have homeschools where they teach their children because they don't want any part of the depravity of the public school system. And now Washington wants to lead the way in forcing you know, mandatory vaccines and, of course, this mandatory education uh, on uh, the LGBT agenda, notwithstanding any religious objection you might have. So the churches are very much up in arms. But this is just the very beginning. I mean, these people are not done yet. Any opinion that is contrary to that is not considered contrary opinion. It's considered criminal psychology. So if you say, well, we think that's sin, you're a criminal in their view. Okay? You're a criminal. You're somebody who needs to be put in prison for harboring that view. You're a hater. You're a person who suffers from irrational phobia because you just don't understand. And they want to criminalize and put people in jail and take their children away from them and then take their children and force them to take these vaccines. You know, look, I may or may not have a problem with vaccines, but I do have a problem with the companies who make the vaccines being free from liability when they put tainted vaccines on the market. You want to give mandatory vaccines, you let down the guard around those companies. If somebody gets injured, we get to sue them for their lousy, tainted vaccine. Stop protecting them. And the fact that these state governments who are bought and paid for by Big Pharma, they're owned by Big Pharma. They're not voting these things in because they're worried about people getting the flu. They're voting them in because Bayer Pharmaceutical needs to sell their flu vaccine, whether or not it's been tested, whether or not it's efficacious, whether or not that particular virus of the flu has even been seen for 100 years. So I have a real problem with what's going on here. But I mean, look, this rise of Sodom now, we're getting to a point now where there's no controls on these governments. They have succeeded in the public square. They have a willing participant in the media who most of the media is owned and controlled by the CIA who wants the destruction of this country for the sole purpose of controlling everyone here as peons and serfs. The name of the game is destroy the middle class and enslave everybody in this country like it's been in every other country for the history of mankind. To enslave, 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 so that those in power can live way up here and everybody else is over here making bricks with no hay. 